Hi everyone, welcome in SAS Programming 90 Days. So today is day 20. So today we are doing the decision tree. So uh, this is the example for the decision tree. How we are creating the decision tree in the SAS wire. Okay, uh, so let's uh, start with the decision tree. What is a decision tree and uh, what the basics of the decision tree? Okay, so uh, so we are uh, in the introduction of machine learning via SAS via of decision tree. So first of all, what is a classification? Because the classification uh, with the help of the decision tree, we are doing the classification. So first of all, uh, we need to understand what is a classification. Classification is a process of dividing the data sets into different categories or groups by adding the labels. A classification is a division or category uh, in a system which divides the things into groups or types okay so basically we are dividing uh, the uh, data into different parts that is also called the classification okay so types of classification we have uh, so decision tree random forest logistic regression linear regression nave uh, base and the supportive vector machines uh, okay and knn model so uh, many uh, example of the classification uh, we are doing the classification with the help of the many uh, of these uh, uh, with the different types of decisions to use random forest logistic regression the linear regression and the other supportive vector machines okay uh, so let's start with the what is a decision tree our decision tree is a flow of uh, flow chart like structure used for classification and the predictions uh, so this is example i created one decision tree in the above here okay so this is decision tree it's related to the uh, uh, data about the triangle and the square okay so this is my parent this is my parent node and uh, with this uh, uh, with this we are doing some uh, bifurcation here triangle uh, let's suppose uh, if i if i receive the uh, from the data from the root node i will receive triangle so they will be automatically go into the triangle let's suppose in the straight and the uh, rotated and if this square is there uh, so that is a straight or rotated so that is going into the different part okay so a decision tree is a flow uh, flow chart like structure used for classification and the predictions a graphical representation of all possible solution to a decisions decision are based on some conditions uh, decisions made uh, can be easily explained and decision tree are able to handle both continuous and the categorical variables okay so graphical representation of all possible solution and to a decision tree okay so decision tree uh, in the machine learning uh, uh, so we understand about what is a decision tree next we are going for the random forest uh, for the random forest uh, we will see so random forest or random forest is a supervised machine learning algorithm that is a constructed from the decision tree algorithms so random forest builds a multiple decision trees and the merges the uh, them together random forest is a more accurate and a stable predictions okay so what is a random forest random forest is a supervised machine learning and also is a combination of uh, the multiple decision trees okay so let's suppose uh, if i have one root node and in the root node uh, so i created one decision tree with the decision tree i created one another one so that multiple decision tree help us to take uh, the decisions very uh, clearly and the accurately that will be help us for taking the decisions because if you have the multiple decisions tree that will be help us to uh, take the decisions the uh, predictions more accurate and uh, correct okay and the stable predictions will be there okay so uh, that's the reason uh, the random forest we are using multiple random forest in the uh, we are using the random forest in the uh, sas fire in multiple times for decision because this is a accurate and the stable ones okay 
नेक्स्ट इज वट इज अ डिसीजन ट्री टर्मिनोलॉजी ओके सो इन द डिसीजन ट्री टर्मिनोलॉजी वी विल सी द नोड्स ओके मल्टीपल नोड्स वी हैव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द रूट नोड व्हाट इज अ रूट नोड रूट नोड इट इज अ बेस्ड नोड ऑफ ट्री द एंटायर ट्री स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द रूट नोड और इट्स फर्स्ट नोड ऑफ अ ट्री इज शो ऑल द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ डेटा फर्दर सेग्रीगेटेड और डिवाइडेड इनटू टू और मोर होमोजेनियस सेट्स okay so uh, root node is the parent node uh, of my data okay and uh, that uh, the all the uh, data that we will flow uh, will be with the root node okay so this is a example of uh, the decision tree okay let's suppose uh, this is a parent node here uh, so this is example should i accept a new job offer okay so let's suppose salary at least a 50000 okay so if his salary is at least 50000 uh, so if yes then they will be go further if no so decline the offer okay so if uh, salary is uh, greater than 50000 uh, $50, uh, dollar okay if yes then they will be uh, commute more than 1 hour okay and uh, offer a free coffee okay if they are offering the free coffee yes accept the offer if not they will be decline the offer okay if commute one more let's suppose my shift is uh, the right now 8 hours and if they uh, uh, committing me for the 9 hours so uh, i will decline the offer okay so this is kind of the uh, new job offer related decision tree okay so this is my parent node in the parent node everything uh, will be uh, flow from my parent node okay so uh, it show the all the population of data further segregated into or uh, divided into two or more homogeneous sets okay next is a leaf node okay what is a leaf node leaf node uh, is a one is the one when you reach at the end of the tree you cannot further segregate it down uh, to any other leaf that uh, is the leaf node okay leaf node is a end of uh, your tree okay and you cannot further uh, go from that one okay okay next is a splitting uh, splitting is dividing the root node or sub node into different parts on the basis of some conditions uh, okay next is a branch or sub tree root node get divides uh, divided into two branches okay so in the decision tree we have uh, the decision tree will be uh, give some because in the decision tree we have some randomized data so that randomized data we have to uh, mint uh, term logic so we will uh, cover in the further sessions okay so in this session we will uh, see about the entropy okay so what is entropy entropy is define the randomness in the data okay so if uh, in the randomness is my data that will be define the randomness of the data okay entropy is just a metric which measures the impurity okay because we have some random data okay so also we have the impurity okay uh, maybe your data will be not correct because uh, uh, we are doing some random uh, randomism okay so maybe uh, the possibility of impurity in in my data okay so entropy is just a metric which measures the impurity okay the first step to solve the problem of decision tree is a uh, entropy okay so we will uh, go further more deep in the entropy and the uh, one more uh, guinea decisions so that uh, that more uh, about the randomization and the uh, about the random data uh, about the impurity in my data uh, that we are handling with the decision tree so that will be covered in the further sessions okay thank you guys uh, so today i am not able to uh, show you about the uh, practical one because uh, the sas uh, via is unavailable from last 3 days okay so that's the reason i'm not able to show you the uh, today uh, some uh, practically okay so sas drive is not available from uh, last 3 days from uh, from uh, new year okay thank you so much guys so we will wait for next uh, one day so uh, maybe uh, this sas drive will be up okay thank you Happy New Year to everyone.